What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Does that break it? Hello everyone, welcome to Veteran Gaming, I am Aaron. Tonight in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is a big night for us. It is, uh, just been quite the journey to get Lord Vader all the way up to his ultimate. But here we are, Tier 6, Lord Vader, the final battle for his ultimate, which is just when I decided to make this video, because frankly, uh, I have him at Relic 7, which I think is very doable, because if you're getting Lord Vader... You have the relic materials, you have the farming means necessary to get them up. So I think Relic 7 is very, uh, very realistic. So here we are in the final battle. I actually haven't really found a bad way to play this where you can actually mess it up at Relic 7, which is good, right? Oh, that was a waste there, though. Here I am talking about how you can't mess it up, and I'm doing my best. You would ultimately wait until that damage immunity is off to use your second ability, but whatever. Like I said, I, I really haven't found a way to lose this. And at 70 tickets, that's a good thing. This is what we want. We want these really easy Galactic Legend events. All we gotta do here is get good old Lord Vader to his ultimate, uh, and then we win. And Jedi Master Kenobi is probably going to get to his ultimate. I don't think I've ever beat this where he didn't get to his ultimate first, but it doesn't matter. He doesn't kill us, and we get to our ultimate, and then we win, and then we finally have our ultimate. I mean, this dude, it's its definitely nowhere near, like, the Ray event for Galactic Legends, in my opinion, is by far the worst. Um, but the, the heroes, the prerequisites to get to Lord Vader, oh, are just an absolute nightmare, slog, trial, whatever you want to call it just absolutely miserable uh so it's really nice here to see a good event cinematically that is also easy to defeat so we're not wasting tickets and there we go this is probably the coolest so cool the breathing sound this is probably the coolest like a little cinematic that cg's ever created for this game in my opinion just so cool how they raise him with the the breathing there i digress that's just oof. that moment still gets me all right here we go we finally have all of the materials. There we go. We have completed. Let's go ahead and slap that bad boy on. And then our biggest decision will be, for future Grand Arenas and stuff, do we give him Maul as his lifter unit? Or do we just continue to use Maul with his own sweet scoundrel team and uh, Mandalorians and let him do his own thing? I don't know yet. I don't have to make that decision yet because we're mid-Grand Arena. We're already locked. But the good news is... We have his ultimate now. So Lord Vader totally powered up here. Our power is what? 49,278. We've got the health and the speed mods on him. He is good to go. We can finally say we have completed everything with Lord Vader, which is absolutely an outstanding feeling because that knocks out, what, our fifth galactic legend. We are upgrading a couple of, what, BB-8 Ray Scavenger and Veteran Smuggler, uh, Chewbacca there, and then we'll be on the way to Ray, Galactic Legend. So here, thanks to the Lightspeed Bundles for Ray, we're going to be really kicking butt here with the Galactic Legends, which is fantastic. In general, my thoughts on Lord Vader event, the prerequisites are absolutely awful, really high. Some of the heroes not that useful, but I have high hopes for Lord Vader, especially considering I already have his Conquest Lifter unit of Maul. So I'm looking for good things from Lord Vader especially in Grand Arena in the future, getting some good defensive holds and taking out some teams on offense. If you guys have a Lord Vader, let me know what you think about his event, his abilities. He's getting, he's come under a lot of flack, right? A lot of people have said he's trash. I don't think he's trash. I struggle against him when he's on defense, just based off my roster, because I don't have like a Fennec Shan or some of those easy counters or easy counters that are out there. So for me, I think he's still going to do some great work for me in Grand Arena. I'm excited to see what he can do for me. So let me know your thoughts on Lord Vader down below. If you enjoy the video, if you enjoy Star Wars, if you enjoy anything at all, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming content. And as always, have fun. Good luck. So I got that going for me, which is nice.